so <clears throat> I rinsed off the cherry tomato. Rinsed off some kale. And I have <clears throat> potato, a little carrot, and an onion. And I'm rinsing these off too. Next, I'm just gonna peel the skin off of the potato and the carrot. <clears throat> and the carrot. Now I'm chopping up some kale. I want some green stuff in my omelet, some onion, aka cebolla, chickpea flour, taco mix to it, this is salt, cayenne, that's like all gone. Chipotle, garlic powder. This is what it looked like. You just mix up the dry ingredients, some water, and what type of water do you use? Honestly, any water. If you're in the States, I would use spring water or some type of like distilled water, unless you know where your water is being like sourced. It's like good water. And then you see? What I like to do is I like to taste the batter to ensure that it is well seasoned. And it is, so I'm gonna dump my carrots and my potatoes. I'm gonna dump everything else, my onions, the kale, Just mix it all up. These might be like some veggie fritters. Vegetable fritter or something. Yeah, if you want it to be like an omelet, you probably should add more chickpea flour, but I honestly don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Turn on the gas. Got some olive oil. Oh, that's it, that's all. I just hope that it's enough oil. I hope it's enough oil, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll let it get a little hotter. We're going to just cook these until they hope it doesn't stick. Oops. Perfect.
Ooh, y'all look at these. Look at these. It's a fritter. Oh, here it is. Got the beans with some squash from the garden. The chickpea omelet, AKA veggie fritter, whatever you want to call it. And some broccoli. Mm-hmm.